guys, how are you all doing today? So today I'm going to show you how to play the solo of Another Day by Dream Theatre and John Petrucci. Um, now I actually did this cover three years ago in the lockdown. Here's the video uh, above so you can see it. That's the original one. Um, and I just learned this week it hit uh, over 200,000 views, which is um, crazy for me. I'm just a little old guitarist in Devon in the UK who just likes playing guitar. So that might not be a lot for some people, but for me, um, you know, uh, I, I was quite happy. So um, yeah, and the bit of the backstory to it is um, I got asked by my friend if I could cover this because his dad at the time uh, was slowly dying, unfortunately, and he has since passed. But his dad's favorite song, I think he was a guitarist, his dad's uh, favorite player was John Petrucci and he, he wanted me to do a cover of the solo so he could show his dad. Um, so this would never be on YouTube unless he had asked me, but, um, so this one's for him. And, um, I've had a lot of people in the original video ask me if I could break it down and do a lesson on it. So this is what I'm here to do today for you. And I've put the tab in the description below. I'm also going to put the backing track in there so you can download it all for free. Um, right. I'm going to break it down for you now. So the solo it, for me is so well written. It's got everything in it. It's melodic. It's musical, um, it builds, it's got technique, it's got tone, it's, yeah. I think f for me it's, it's John uh, Petrucci's best solo. You know, it may not necessarily the technically, you know, be something of like As I Am or anything, but it's got everything, it's got soul, uh, which people criticise him for, but I think, you know, people need to have a good look at <laughs> his his catalogue and stuff. He's very underrated in the melodic sense, I guess. But maybe, um, you know, not for some, and people know how good he is, but I think he, people just think he's great at just alternate picking and technique and that's all he's got. No, he is musical um, and he writes some very, very good parts. So, I'm gonna break it down. So, we have the 11th fret here on the B string. This is the opening bend and we're bending up a semitone to the 12th fret. Okay, so this is the opening line. So I'm bending on the B string, and then it hits the B. It hits the B string again when the band comes in, and you'll hear it. It's a kind of a guessing game where to hit it. You've just got to feel it. Um, you'll know what I mean on the backing track, or if you play along to hit the, the actual track itself, um, you'll see what I mean. Okay, so he bends it first. So it's the 11th fret B string, and I'm bending it a semitone up to the 12th fret, basically. Okay, so I have. I release the bend and then pull off to the ninth fret B string. And then I'm hitting the 11th fret again and bending it semitone up. Okay, so that's the initial uh, part of the solo. Then I hit the ninth fret B string. And then I'm bending up a tone on the 12th fret, so going up to this note, which is the 14th fret, essentially. Okay, so it's a C sharp. So bend, hit it twice. So once, twice, releasing the bend back to 12. And then I have this semitone bend on the 11th fret B string. So I bend it and then release it. 11th fret G string, slide down to the 6th fret on the G string. So, so far. Okay, then we have this part. So, on the D string, you start on the 8th fret. Okay, so it's 8, 9, oh, eight, nine 11, and then I end up on 8 on the G string. So it's a 3 note per string there on the D string, and then I'm ending on the 8 on the G string, then ninth through my middle finger on the G. Then my little finger I'm stretching to the 12th fret on the B. And then on the 8th fret, uh, I'm bending a semitone. Uh, bend and releasing it back to the 8th fret on the G string. 
So on my E flat. So I have so far. Okay, so after that uh, half step bend, then I go eight, nine, eleven on the G string. Okay, can't remember if he picks or hammer on. Oh, he hammer ons it. I can't remember. Um, have a listen. Maybe practice both. Okay, but I'll just hammer on for now. Okay, so it's eight, nine, eleven. Knowing Petrucci, he probably picks it. So it's eight, nine, eleven on the G, and then I pull back off, back to the eight. So it's I think I picked it there. Okay. Then I end up on eleven on the D string. Then on the D still nine seven. Then eleven on the A. And then I hit back to seven on the D. Then I go 11 back to 9 on the A. So, so far. Okay, then we have this kind of monster signature Petrucci alternate picking lick. Okay, so it's, Ooh, it's a bit of a monster. Okay, so we go straight into that bend. Now that is really hard to catch, okay? So just be wary of that after that. Tricky, um, isolated like that, okay. So what do I have? 13th fret on the D, so I'm going, it's all diatonic here, it's like A flat minor. So 13, 14, 16 on the D, 13, 15, 16 on the G. This is all alternate picked as well, no legato or um, hybrid picking, okay, not what I'm used to. So that's the initial phrase. Groups of six, three note per string. So, then I'm coming to the 14th fret, D, 14, 16, 18, G string, 15, 16, 18, B string, 16, 17, 19, high E string, 16, 18, 19. So finishing off, uh, okay, on that B note. So, and then I'm going straight to that 21st fret and bending it. Okay, now that's the, the, the tough one in here where you've got to catch it straight away out of that run. So it's the 21st fret. Okay, then you're bending it with vibrato. It's a bit of a killer on the calluses, so if you want to build up some good callus um, on your fingers, this is the part to isolate for you guys. Okay, so after I've bent that 21st fret, I'm not going to go over this part too much as you'll see why. Okay, and then I go. Um, okay, so this is on the 21st fret B string with my little finger, high E string, 19, and then I hit with my little finger 21 on the high E. And then you bend the 21st fret up again. Okay, and as I'm bending um, a tone up, then you bend it slightly higher so it's a tone and a half, so you've got this. Oh, yeah, you've got to make sure you catch it on the way back down. Okay, so that's what that is. Bending up two strings at a time now, because I've played it a few times already today. The strength is not there. Okay, so. Okay, yeah, so really when you're in full flow, that is um, that is the tough part, I'd say, the bending to get the pitch right. Next section. 
So what do I have? I've got 19 on the high E, then I have 18 on the high E, back to 19, then to 21 on the high E. So middle finger, first finger, middle finger, little finger. Okay, so from the little run I'll do it slow. Yeah, of all the parts I've messed up. Okay, then I have this little kind of groups of five here. These are these are groupings of five in A flat minor pentatonic. So this little section. I think I'm on the back pickup here as well. So I'm starting off on the uh, 19th fret on the high E. Pulling off, or, yeah, it's pull off. So 19, pull off to 16, then 19 on the B string, 16 on the B, then I land on 18th fret on the G. Okay, so this is quite nippy, this part. And then I'm kind of going back on myself and starting on the B string. So 19, pull off to 16, 18, 16 G, and then landing on the uh, 18th fret on the D. So. And then I'm going 18 and then 16 on the G. Right, the next bit, D string, 16, 18, pull off, and then back to 18 on the A string. Okay, this one is another part in the song where it doesn't sound a lot, but it's to get it really clean and in time, it can be a bit fiddly. So I go, start on the G string now. So it's 16, hammer to 18, slide into uh, 20, okay? And then with the middle finger on the B string on the 19th fret, hammering on with a little finger on the 21st fret. And then I'm uh, landing on the high E string on the 19th fret and sliding down to the 17. It's a bit, like I say, it's a bit fiddly at, at that point. Now, we get to the end, the end of the solo. I do do a bit after the end of the solo where I go over the, like, the vocal line and just mess around like I did in the first video, but um, I won't show you that. I've left it in the tab for you if you want to have a go at it, but this is the end section as John Petrucci plays it. So we have the... Okay, so this little section here, it's going descending in fifths, okay? That kind of thing. So it starts off on the B string on the 19th fret, and I'm hitting 19 on the B, and on the high E, 21. And then I hit the B string again. And this is all diatonic, guys. There's nothing really out of shape or any kind of accidentals in this. It's all to the scale of A flat minor, really. So you got. So that's kind of the first little sections I like to look at. So it's a pattern down, I'll do it slow. Okay, so it ends up to on the ninth fret on the B. 11th fret on the high E. And then as I slide down to uh, 7 on the B string. Okay, so as I slide down. Um, I go hammer to 9. Then pull back off to 7. Pull, hammer back onto 9. Pull off back to 7 and then pull off to the open B string, so it'd be in real time. Quite quick on that part. As I'm the open B string string out, I hammer on to the, uh, out of nowhere, to the fourth fret, and then, so, hammer to the fourth, 
Then I'm going to the fifth fret then with my middle finger. Four, five, four, zero. So kind of the same thing. And then as I'm on the open B there, I hammer back onto four, hammer onto five, then uh, tap 12 with the middle finger. So. Pull off, back to five, back to four, open. And then I land on two, so it's. Okay, so break that down. That's a bit of a, you know, it, it, it could be anything, couldn't it, what you play there, but I have put it in the tab as accurate as I can, so it's. That's that final part. Okay, uh, I hope I explained that right. But anyway, like I say, you've got the uh, transcription below. But anyway, yeah, that's how you play it. Um, well, that's how I play it at least. Um, I transposed it, this is going back a few years and I just relearned it today, like I say. So I'm just trying to get it under my fingers again. Sorry if I was uh, slow in that. My, my brain has been a bit of a crazy one today. I'm, I'm actually going away this weekend. So um, the content will be, you know, in the next couple of weeks might be a bit limited to what I can do, but I'm hopefully gonna put some videos out for you guys. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Like I say, I'll put the original video that I covered in the description below as well, and I uh, hope you have a crack at it, and let me know how you do. Cheers, guys, and I'll see you at the next one.